So these are the mantle brackets that I'm building. So I've already had them bent, full 90s, super simple. But now what I'm needing is to build the arches for inside of here. And when I did my first set, it took me so long to do. I was using my torch. I was shaping a piece of plate, a four inch plate around a piece of pipe. And it was so time consuming. And plus it's using a lot of consumables, a lot of gas, all that kind of stuff. So I had to come up with a better idea. And so I played around with a few things and this is what I've come up with. So I'll give you guys the play by play on how I make it work. But for now, taking my measurements, I'm gonna cut some pieces and show you how I do it. So now I have both my pieces cut, 12 inches. I ground off all the mill scale with a light sanding disc. And now I'm gonna mark uh, evenly spaced one inch lines across each piece. Okay, so both pieces are now marked, so I'm going to take you guys outside and show you the setup I have. Most of you know my space is super duper small, so I have to get a little creative every now and again, and I have a couple of my tools that I've, I've set up outside, um, and I'll show you how that works for me, and show you how I get these all bent. Let's go! It's kind of shining today, this is a much needed break from the snow and the clouds, so it's a perfect time to do this. So. This is my workspace, something that's not going to go anywhere, something I can get some leverage from. So let's get my bender in here. Here's my hitch attachment. Well, I just put it in here. It takes a little maneuvering, but there we go. Here's my little workspace. So let's show you what I got. So this is my workspace. This is what I have set up for this. And in here I have myself just a little stopper. I had to build it because I lost my other one. And just a bolt was too small. So I had just tacked a washer on here so that it only goes to that same mark every single time I bend it. So let's get set up. Okay, so hopefully I have this set up good enough that you guys can see it because it's kind of bright, but it might look different when I get a video set up. So I have my piece of plate in here, and I'm gonna go start line on each side. So I'm gonna lock it into place at each one inch mark. And then all I'm gonna do is pull just slightly. So that was like nothing. That was barely, barely a pull. And then I'll loosen it off, put it on the next one. Same thing. And I will continually go all the way to the very end. And as you guys can tell, every single time I pull on that, it bends it just a little bit to give me the arch that I'm looking for. And I just kind of guess, I don't know what exactly the arch that I'm getting, but I can play around with it once I get it trimmed the exact size I need. Over. Nope, don't flip it over. I did this about two inches longer than I need, just so I can make sure that it's all consecutive bends and all that. One. So now I have the perfect little curve, and then I have two that I'm gonna do for each one. It does have a bit of bumps on the ends of it, on the outsides of it, but I take a, a nice flapper disc and I just buff that up. Take off, it takes off all the mill scale and stuff too on the outside edge. But yeah, that's how I make my little arches. So now I'm gonna go finish making my brackets and show you guys what they look like. So I have all my mantle brackets done now, and I had them painted last night. I got the other side painted. Didn't get to finish the videos today, hence my new dirty outfit. Anyways, they are all ready to go. So I have them all painted nice flat black. And as you guys can see, that's the arch that I had. That's exactly what I wanted in it. 
you guys can see all the little lines that showed up in here, but I actually think they look pretty cool. I think they look great. Just something a little bit different once you get it up onto the mental. But yeah, let's get bolted to the wall. Beams go on here, and then yeah, then you're good to go. So this one's for an eight by eight beam. I also have some smaller ones that I did that are just for a little uh, four by six. So same thing, you can get the lines on that one, but they actually turned out not too shabby. So tell me what you guys think. Share some ideas with me if you guys have some. I'm always up for learning a couple new tricks and tips here and there. So if I can share some with you, I'd love to hear other people's. Anyways, hope you guys all have a great day.